Welcome to the Chicken Challenge. Hey everybody, Tyler Florence here. Last week I put up a challenge on Twitter that you responded to and I couldn't believe how enthusiastic everybody was about chicken. The hashtag was chicken challenge and man, you guys replied with hundreds and hundreds of entries from roasted chicken to chicken piccata, chicken fajitas, chicken chili. Then it boiled down to the final four. Of course, it ended up being fried chicken. It was fried chicken for the win. So now we're here at the grocery store. I'm gonna live to my promise. We are making fried chicken today and that is a chicken dish that I know a little something about let's go all right so first things first we're gonna grab some chicken I, I think Rosie's is the absolute best organic birds super healthy they're gonna grab some of the stuff from the produce section now I'm not bragging it's just true, uh, but Food & Wine Magazine said that this particular recipe uh, was the ninth best fried chicken in America. So we're gonna kinda go through this step by step and I'll show you a piece of it together. So this is uh, Rosie's Organic Chicken. If you live here in California, it's the only chicken to get. So we're gonna end up with two thighs, two legs, two wings, and then the breasts we're gonna cut into four pieces. Hi everybody, hi Twitter. Now it's time to make the brine, right? And the brine is designed to take that salty flavor, not just on the outside, but make sure it travels all the way to the center. So we're gonna start off with uh, two and a half quarts of water, five tablespoons of salt. And then we're gonna throw in what I, I think is the real kind of heart and soul of the flavor of what I like to call California fried chicken. And that's the woody herbs and the lemon and the garlic and the peppercorns, right? Give this a nice big mix. And we're just gonna take our chicken, fold them into the brine, and then you wanna let them set for a while, right? This gets really good in about two hours, man. All right, so while the chicken is brining, let's talk about crust. The dredging station is gonna be a wet bath of yummy stuff and a dry bath of really savory, delicious stuff. It's one quart of really good organic buttermilk couple tablespoons of sugar, and then we've also got a couple tablespoons of really good hot sauce, right? Now the other half, it's not just regular all-purpose flour, it's two-thirds part all-purpose flour and then one-third part rice flour. So when it fries, it gets crispy, and then with the rice flour, it stays crispy. So we got salt, paprika, cayenne, garlic powder, onion powder. And then we have a liberal amount of black pepper. So no pepper shakers, we're going fresh cracks. All right, so we got this banged out now, I think it's time to dredge the chicken. And what we wanna do is take the chicken out, but any kind of herbs that stick to the chicken, leave them on, right? Because that's gonna be part of the, both the presentation and the flavor profile. The wash is gonna be uh, the wet part of the glue that's gonna hold the crust together. So, uh, so chicken into the flour, give a nice big toss, press it in. We, you want to like, this is the good stuff. This is where you really want to go the extra mile and make sure that you've got like that crust is going to stick on. No bad spots here. We get good bites all the way around, right? Shake off the excess and then you've got something really, really beautiful. Here. So obviously fried chicken, you got to fry it. So you got a big pot of oil here. This is just canola oil. In this pot of oil, we want to fry all the herbs. We're infusing the oil with all this really delicious aroma. And that is gonna be the bath, the jacuzzi, if you will, that's gonna give our fried chicken that very, very distinctive flavor. So we're just gonna drop these guys in. We're gonna let them start to fry. When they float, they're finished. The chicken should take about 12, 13, 14 minutes per cycle. The fried chicken is almost done, and this is the final, last bit of it. The next time you see this, is gonna be golden brown and delicious. This is it. Really important to make sure you got the temperature of the oil correct. And then when you drop the chicken in, come on, isn't that beautiful? I think this is so fantastic. So this is what it looks like, super duper crunchy. Again, it's all about that combination between the all-purpose flour and the rice flour, and then those layers and layers of flavor, that really beautiful bright brine, um, the uh, sweet and spicy buttermilk, the texture of the crust. I just think this is one of the greatest recipes we've ever come up with. A nice big squeeze of lemon on top of this. And you guys are good, man. I had a great week. This is the chicken challenge. I want to thank our good friends at Rocky and Rosie for hanging out with us. It's the best chicken on planet Earth. If you're in California, check it out. And that's it, folks. <laughs> Stuff is so hot. I'll see you later.